vamp of Savannah, the meanest gal in town. Of all the refrigerating mamas, oh, it's Hannah, she's like a polar bear's pajamas. Hard hearted Hannah, I need to meet you, Hannah. You, I said it would be just a little bit longer. I. Wait, there you are! Disasterina, what are you doing here? I'm here for the Say the Trash Tales interview. An interview? Yes, the interview, Dumbo. Today? Oh, that was today. Oh, girl, I totally forgot about that. Hugh, I'll be just a few minutes. <laughs> Say the Trash Tales with actor and superhero Dragpool. Where did you come from? You can't have a real superhero party without drag pool sweetness. Being on the set of Sato Psychiatrist was a little like going to the Willy Wonka chocolate factory. <laughs> but instead of chocolates, there were edibles, and instead of Oompa Loompas, there was a who's who of Dracula dregs. It was actually filmed inside Disasterina's house. It's called Low Budget Kids. Get your head out of your bougie. Both Disasterina and Ave Rose are artists and their stuff just fills the place. Ave Rose is like a Tiffany's taxidermist. Skulls, bugs, dried snakes, and the wings of emo twinks. All coated with paparachas and moonstones. The place was packed. What's a seven and a half foot tall mutant red drag queen to do? I couldn't walk an inch without my katanas knocking over some gilded squirrel paw holding a bejeweled butt plug. They actually had to take the set apart so that I could fit in it. Well, hello, bondage freaks. I usually don't make house calls, but I hear you have an issue with a naughty bad guy. We're being held hostage by a maniacal sex doll. Oh, sweetness. I'm a superhero. We just call that another Thursday. Well, the most fun I had on Sado Psychiatrist was talking to Foxy in the green room. She's the sweetest thing. I'm convinced she's a superhero, too. And gorgeous. <laughs> Looks just like Black Venus herself, Miss Lola Falana. <laughs> Barry Manilow wrote a song about her. Look her up. I also got to gab a bit with bitch pudding. You could have mind melded with any bitch in the universe you chose this big haired buffoon. She's my Instagram boo, and she's awesome. Picked her brain about improv, even though I had to wash my hands after. So sticky. She's shyer than you'd expect though. A lot of us creative types are, but smart as a Liz Lopez whip on TJ Wilkes bubble rock hard ass. <laughs> These are cast members too, kids. Look them up. Ooh. Heavens to Billie Eilish. The worst experience I had on the set was the heat. It was hotter than that flame-headed claymation miser from that ancient Christmas TV special. I had to wring out my armpits. I was soaked. I'm a drag queen and superhero stretch pleather. Sweat mixed with eight layers of makeup and fixed with a Costco-sized tub of setting powder. My beat was so caked that by the time my first scene shot, I could have stepped right out of a bakery. Now I want a donut. Weasel, I want a donut! You can eclipse my ass, Mr. Moon Man. The last thing I need in my busy schedule is a sudden disaster. Now get your head out of the clouds and reshuffle. Oh. <laughs> if it takes any longer, Hugh, you can just come in and join me. <laughs> oh, you're back. Working with Disasterina and Ave Rose was like working with the Barack and Michelle of Trash Camp. <laughs> Who am I kidding? That was just pure ass kissing. Seriously, don't let those creepster cookie personas fool you. Actually, they're pretty accurate. But I find all the real weirdos are the most genuine peeps. I think when pretense is painful and 
You can't make normal fit no matter how hard you try to squeeze that size 13 into a size nine. You either become your own mad cobbler or you step in all that run of the mill shit without any shoes on. Did you follow all that? I'm not sure I did. Where's my Adderall? <laughs> well, if I must, Dragpool was inspired by Yanis Marshall's incredible dance performance as Deadpool in Stiletto Boots from the Celine Dion Ashes video. I've never done drag before, but the whole concept came to me like that scene in a movie where the supervillain's plot contrived exposition gives the hero just enough time to figure out how to escape being captured. Dragpool is like the Deadpool from the drag universe. We exist simultaneously in different realities. Kind of like those different spider people in the Spideyverse. I figure if Spider-Man can have a pig, then Deadpool can clearly have a drag queen. And don't you think a post credit scene with Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool 3 would be marvelous? <laughs> Start a petition. <laughs> you! <laughs> Stop! You're getting me so wet. <laughs> oh, there's more. Well, juggling Mr. Johnson's balls was one of the highlights of my sadopsychiatrist experience. Wow, we who wants to juggle my big sparkly balls? Well, now that you put it that way, how can I refuse? <laughs> I still have the glitter all over my hands and my chin. They smell like pizza and madeleines. And by madeleine, I don't mean those delicious melt-in-your-mouth petite French butter cakes shaped like seashells. <laughs> no, madeleine is what bitch pudding calls a panty hamster. She got good hair. What other acting projects have I done? <laughs> well, mostly some creature work. I was a zombie on Shark Tank and did some promo zombies for a Walking Dead video game. I was also a zombie for a zombie land party at the Sony Pictures studio lot. I guess I've mastered the living dead. Hmm. I have a lot of experience with that in my day-to-day -day life. Sorry to burst your bubble sweetness. <laughs> Actually, I'm okay with it. Disasterina, are you still here? I'm here. Be a dear and Step out for a few minutes. What? I mean, I have some really tasty mac and cheese baking in the oven. Mac and cheese? Uh, would you go check on that for me, please? I love mac and cheese. <laughs> Thank you. Such a sweetness. Is she gone? Let me tell you. When I was first sent the script for episode five, Ave Rose told me that I could rewrite some of the dialogue to make it more drag pooly. Yes. Drag pooly. It's an adjective, kids. Use it in a sentence and make it trend. Anyway, I'm sure you remember the scene where Dragpool had to fight the evil maniacal sex robot Chelsea. Splash! Collect! In the script, I call her Angel. You know, like drag queens do. Use a term of endearment as an insult. <laughs> well, I wanted to call her Princess Skynet instead. But Disasterina and Ave Rose wouldn't let me because they said they don't play video games and didn't get the reference. <laughs> video games? What? Yeah. It's from The Terminator, one of the most iconic sci-fi horror movies of all time. It was a funny line, right? Some queens are for pageants, and some are comedians, and some are into filth and horror. I'm a pop culture drag queen. I felt marginalized. Just because I'm not wearing a ball gag doesn't mean that I don't deserve the same credibility. Really? What is the world coming to when a pop culture queen can't get... What, 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 are, you, what are you doing? Hugh! Hugh, come help me! Is he still here? You've been in here too long! It's my time to take a shower! Oh, goodness! Weasel! Sado Trash Tales!
Be sure to watch Sato Psychiatrist on Out TV and on Amazon Prime Video. I'll take whatever desperate attention anyone will give me. That's what all us emotionally abandoned children do in an attempt to replicate love.